Good morning, that's where I camped. It is the 23rd of May. So it was exactly a month ago I set off from Crazy Cook. So I'm gonna move out of my little canyon where the spring is. Relatively calm, not completely calm last night, but I'm sure it was a lot less windy than it was up pretty much anywhere else. It was interesting, uh, I could feel the cold settle in as the night wore on. As the air became still, um, that cold air just sort of sank down into this low-lying area. I mean, it was okay. It was plenty warm, but I could I could feel it happen. It was almost uh, and it was almost uh, cold and humid, which was striking <laughs> for New Mexico. Feeling sort of humid. It wasn't dew or anything like that, but uh, you could almost feel that it might have been like on the edge of. The dew point. Okay, uh, going into Cuba today. Should get there mid or late afternoon. No terrible mad rush. Pretty short day. 15 miles, I think. 10 miles of trail, 5 miles of road walking. Highway walking. Yeah. There's really only uh, one climb today, and that's up the side of the mesa on the left here. And uh, I think we're going to like hit a shoulder of it. I can see the trail switchbacking right there. Well, there are definitely some rocks there that are you know, getting ready to fall down. I think I would want to be down on the trail right there at the time of a uh, earthquake. <laughs> Just saying. I'll make it through. I'm not sure I'm on the trail. <laughs> okay. Huh. Well, Well, I'm hiking along through this pretty firm sand on top of this mesa. Wonderful views, at least down to the right. It occurred to me I might have some service, so I, so I turned off the airplane mode, checked my emails, hoping, and yes, I got one, an email from Zorro. 
I had queried him about advice for the San Juans because there's no one whose advice I cherish more deeply. <laughs> but he cracked me up. I mean, he just cracked me up. I had written to him that I had shin splints. And so I'm keeping my mileage down to 20s. <laughs> to which he put all in, he put it all in caps, sent it back to me going, wait, what? <laughs> he didn't use those words, but as if to say. He says I'm going too fast. So I was deciding if I should take a zero here in Cuba or uh, not. So I'm now based on zero or based on Zorro's recommendation. I think I will take a zero here in Cuba. Put some ice on my shins for once, which I haven't been doing in town. I mean, it's just duh, you know, stupid. Uh, so anyway, Zorro, you crack me up. <laughs> I just burst out laughing. Yeah, good day. Okay, I've made it to, uh, this is uh, New Mexico 197. Been walking for a couple miles on this uh, dirt road. And uh, one of the observations I had in hiking on the dirt road is we've had rain. I've had rain almost every evening, a little bit. And you can tell that in certain places it's rained a lot more. So there are some footprints in the dirt roads or in the in the New Mexico dust that when it rained it it made you know deep deep footprints and I I, I fancy some of these footprints might be from x-ray and from two-speed although I'm not a hundred percent said certain just based on uh, the size and brand of shoe that they wear but what was interesting to me is that when this mud dried, it dried hard. It's like, it's like cement. And so even walking on some of these areas that had uh, just hikers walking down and by, by creating footprints made, uh, made for a very rough trail that is like walking on cement. Um, yeah, but now this is real concrete here. Uh, on, on 197, and this is gonna, this is gonna hurt. I know. Uh, this is this is the worst for the for the ones. Uh, it's About four and a half miles into um, Cuba. So yeah. onward. Cuba, New Mexico. grocery store here. Walk by the Family Dollar before. See two motels. I'm going to go on to a third one, I believe. I hear they have the best Wi-Fi.